Howdy guys, it's Tachi and welcome to some uh, Minecraft. Now this, uh, as you can see, this looks a lot different. I am actually playing Terra Firma Craft. So hopefully this is going to be a, uh, a Let's Play series where I go through uh, and explain how the mod works. And So take a look around. I am uh, somewhere, I don't know. It looks like I'm on a deserted island. So this uh, mod makes the game... Uh, a lot harder. As you can notice on the ground, there are these rocks on the ground that you have to pick up. Now you can't normally, you can't, like normally in Minecraft, you can just go and punch trees if you want. You know, you can normally just punch a tree and get wood. But as, as you can see here, nothing's happening. So in uh, Terra Firma Craft, you have to go back to like the Stone Age. Back to the, uh, the basics. So the first thing we need to do is pick up all the all the stones we can get and uh, you notice that you you can't get wood so you're thinking well how do I how do I make items well I'll go through that so on your on your bar over here you got four options the first one is just your inventory the second one are your levels from uh, doing crafting and you know making tools and armors which we'll get into way later this will show you the calendar that now there are seasons and here is the uh, the food if you need to stay healthy. So you will need everything. So you notice we've got plenty of plenty of stones. We got 14, which is not plenty, but it's it's still a, a good amount to start with. We'll pick up all of our stones. Ah, and as you can see here, their sticks are on the ground. So you don't make tools the normal like the normal way in Minecraft, where you make a crafting bench and you just make all your tools. And what you have to do is you have to flint map. So as you can see, you right click when you have two stones, and we're going to start off by making two knives. So if you go down the middle, and we go like that, and booyah, we got our two knives. So we're going to take our knife heads and our sticks that we found on the ground, and we're actually going to make two knives. Now I'm just going to punch the tree, pick up the sapling. I didn't get enough stone. But I'll at least plant these saplings again. And we'll have to find some wood. Which, uh, and we'll pick up these along the way. Let's get this and this. Let's go to a lower tree. Oh, lots of stone. So, uh, this episode should be a little bit, uh, laggy a little bit. Because I'm just loading in all the new stuff. Oh, and as you can see on your, uh, on my bars down here at the bottom. You notice I've got one big red health bar, and then I've got a green bar and a blue bar. The green bar is for food, which I was showing you, and the uh, blue bar is for water. So you have to find water and carry it with you, or get in it like this. So let's punch some trees. Ah, there's a stick. And we'll just use the stick to get more sticks. Saplings and sticks. That's what we're going to need to start. And let's, I guess we'd go ahead and do the, all of it. See how it goes. Three down, three down. Boom, boom. Yeah, we're just going to get them all because I need, need lots of sticks. I can start making some weaponry and stuff too. Oh. Get plenty of uh, wood now. Got some stone. So we're going to flint nap uh, this, and we're actually going to uh, make a shovel by going like this, and on this side. And there's our shovel. And now we're going to make an axe head, which is uh, a little weird. I've got the wiki open. Trying to figure some of this out. Oh crap, I messed it up. Well, let's do that again. This is my first time playing. So, uh. There we go. That's easy enough. So now we're going to pick up our axe head, put it in here, use our stick, 
Everything just requires one stick, which is really nice. I'm going to do the same thing with the shovel. Move this up here, and I'll probably plant some of these trees around. So now that we have an axe, we can actually chop down some trees. Now, the good thing is that all we have to do is click on the bottom one and start chopping, as you can see there. And just a few seconds, it should chop down the whole tree. And hurry up. A lot of work. Yay, we got some wood. So we're going to have to build us a basic shelter for the night. But first, I think we're going to need some grass. And in order to find the grass and stuff, we take our knife and we poke the ground like this. And as you notice, we're getting stuff. And this is not this is not wheat. This is actually straw. If I can show you straw, light, tiny. So everything has weight as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab, gather up as much as we can. And we're going to try and find a base to call for the night near some water. Because we're going to always need water. And we're going to need plants and stuff too later. So I'm just going to get all this that we can. Let's just go ahead and hit those to get that. I believe grass regrows as well, so you don't have to worry about running out. This is uh, some weird dirt. I'm actually going to dig some of this up and see what it is. Ah, it's actually dirt. Whoops. Yeah, you got to use the knife. And as you can see, we're getting a little bit hungry. So I am going to actually make a hammer. I think this is it. Hmm. I'm going to check and see how to make a hammer. Oh, okay. That's wrong. So it's, uh, let's see. Dun, dun. And then. There we go. That's a hammerhead. And then we can also make spears, which I'm going to make right here. I think like this. Okay. And then like this. Yeah, there we go. Javelin heads. And I'm going to make a few of these, which it takes a while to get used to making. But once you get it, and we're going to make multiples of them. I think I messed that up. Yeah, and you lose it if you mess it up, so you have to be careful. How did I mess that up? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, there we go. And actually, we're going to take these. And put them in here. And here will be our first weapon. I'm going to get rid of that basalt rock because we don't need it yet. And make another one. And these are pretty cool. I'll go ahead and make our hammer as well. That's sort of a weapon. Our logs and our wheat. And since I'm getting pretty hungry, I'm going to take my hammer. Or I mean my, uh, my javelin. I'm going right, to hold in right click. And I'm going to kill this cow. And as you notice, you get them back. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I can't believe that. So we're actually going to make our way down. Oh, if you heard that sound... You know what, I'm going to want to pour water in there. That way I can swim up. And look at all the meat I got from that cow. I actually ran out of room. And I'm going to... Wow, I got a lot of meat. I need my sticks. Uh... Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Oh my god, it's dark down here. We may have to come back and get some of that meat. Because we need a lot of food, and look how hungry I am already. 
which is weird. So we're going to make us a hole in the wall, if we can, to be safe. Oh, and as you can see there, grass and stuff does fall. All, uh, all blocks are physics based now. Dirt and everything. But I thought at least, uh, do that. I don't want to step on that either. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our straw. We're going to hold in shift. And we'll split it evenly. I'll get rid of this dirt. We're going to make our first house. Out of straw. And I ran out already. But this should be fine. I got enough protection. And to make a... Uh, we're going to have to make a fire for the night so we can cook. We'll take our sticks like this. We'll make a fire starter. We'll throw that away. And we actually... Actually have to put three sticks on the ground. Which is one, two, two, three. And we're going to click on them with our fire starter. And there we go. As you can see, we have our, our fire. As you can see, the wood will go down, so I'm just going to fill this up with wood. So we can have a nice long fire for the night. And I'm actually going to cook some of this beef. And as you can see, we got a lot of meat. But we have no way of holding it. I may just end up putting it in a... a uh, put it in something. We could. Oh, I'm actually eating. As you notice, sorry, I keep putting escape. As you notice, we have a certain amount, and uh, wow, I actually got a lot out of that. And once you eat, you uh, you gain all that. So I'm gonna find a place to put all this meat because I don't need that much right now. So I'm gonna throw it. Hopefully, not pick it all up. Oh, my fire's going out. Put all my wood on there. And I'm actually just going to throw everything in here and hopefully don't, we don't attract any wolves or bears. Which you can, easily. And I am going to cook some more meat. Meat spoils over time. I don't know if it has to do with being on the ground or not. But it, it will spoil. We can probably get drying racks or something later on. So I'm going to sort of dig around. Let's see if we can clear out. The game might be a little too loud. We're going to take our knife. And get more... more of this straw. Oops. I ran out. Good thing I made two. If you see these yellow flowers, that shows you that we have something important around too. You dig underneath them. We'll have to make us another one. If you dig around the yellow flowers, it'll show that we have a uh, play around, or it should. So I'm going to take all this, and I'm going to take my two, two pieces of straw, and since I got this large hide from killing that cow, I'm going to drop it right on top of this, it should. Hmm. Let's see. Large raw hide? Hmm. I guess I can't. Maybe it's a different type of hide. Let's go ahead and punch that. I don't feel like using my. Actually, we're gonna have to make another hammer. There we go. Uh, what else do we need? We need to make another shovel. 
And I think I'm going to leave it for this episode. I'm going to do it nice and short and see how the sounds are and stuff. And I'll see you next time.